what's going on guys and <laughs> welcome back to another quality mod pack 2 and we're over here in our sea base yet again um this is probably going to be the last day that we are going to be the mermaid origin so uh, i think it's been about four or five episodes now as the mermaid origin so i think changing it up and seeing what we land on afterwards but what i want to do is be able to enable ourselves to still venturing out in the ocean um, with like water breathing and whatnot and there is something in the Archon mod which will actually allow us to do that it is called the Sea Master Charm so grants water breathing allows the user to walk on water when held in hand so it grants water breathing permanently provided it's in your inventory so having that regardless of what class we are means that we should be able to survive in the water uh, no matter where we go, which means coming back and forth into the water bay shouldn't be an issue and venturing around shouldn't be an issue either. So uh, what we need to be able to get for that is this thing called the Wave Crystal. The Wave Crystal is dropped from the boss Levon in the Archon mod. So you need to use one of these summoning pedestals and then a bunch of different bits and pieces in order to do it. Um, so what we've made is a Diamond Mana Catalyst. That when we put down so if we hold our wand if you look just to the left hand side of my hotbar we've got 100 out of 100 but what i want to do is actually put this down and this will increase our amount of mana as well as the mana region so if we put that down just there so our mana now goes up to 200 and our region actually goes a lot quicker the water wand i've got it set on um the aqua shield which gives us like added resistance and sort of defense. Um, I'm really not a fan of all of these particles. Is there a way? I know there was a way that I sort of turned them down before. Uh, if we go decreased, uh, it would be minimal really for the lowest one, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't know what mod is creating the particles for the sea lanterns, but I may actually go around and swap out the sea lanterns just to stop that particle effect because I am not a fan, to be honest with you. Although it does already appear in the water and through glass you don't actually have it. But nevertheless, um, what we need to do is get the summoning pedestal, water essence, the water gems and kelp, I do believe. And then if we have a look at our grimoire, which is the book from this mod, um, we want to go bosses, 11. So 11 is a water boss with rapid AoE melee attacks. From a distance, he will fire small water bolts that can create puddles on the hit target. If we're in the water, I don't think that's going to matter all that much. His melee attack consists of slow punches and launching waves of short-range tridents. Levin drops a wave crystal upon death. You can find the items needed to summon him on the next page. So we need a water gem, kelp, puffer fish, and water essence. So puffer fish, kelp, uh, water essence, and a water gem. Is all of the things that we need in order to summon him. So if we bring them, say, down to here. I don't really know how the summoning works. So this is going to be a learning experience for you and me. And I also don't know how difficult this boss is going to be. So what I really should do is set a respawn point somewhere in here. Because um, it's either going to be really easy or ridiculously hard. We do that respawn point set have some toast and then we can go up here and just see how difficult we're going to get murdered um can we like put you on here there we go and then i'm assuming that we just click these on here yeah so kelp um he be with you shortly hopefully he has actually re-rolled his um, origin and he is actually now the mermaid class. Uh, so I told him he's got free use of this base area obviously. So you can still come over here and venture out from this point as a spawn. Um, because obviously walking around with the mermaid class is so slow. So we've got the trident for fighting. We've got our water one which we're going to use periodically in order to give us the shield um, for extra defense. Fighting a mini boss. And then let's just see how bad this goes. So, what else was it? I thought it was just M4. 
Uh, must have air above the pedestal, really. Um, how can I create air above the pedestal? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to have to create like a little enclosure thing for this guy. Uh, uh, you should be fine to set your spawn point here as well. Okay, so let's try this again. First of all, I want to put that down. And then put you. We want kelp. Um, no, I need to go back to the little underwater base because the other stuff is inside the uh, backpack thing that I put down in there. and water gem. Are you enjoying how quick you swim in the water now? Titans go everywhere. I need to eat quickly. Oh, and he's firing fireballs. I think he's got like a healing thing. Oh wow, it's like an insta kill. It's like the explosions if you're that close to them. Okay, back up and heal. Yeah, <laughs> a lot harder. I think it's like each time they spawn, they spawn with like different um, potions and effects that they do. Literally at the last second. But on the bright side, I got the wave crystal. 
which is just what I needed. Yay! Okay, um, oh my god, everything's on fire. Pick up the table. And my diamond mana catalyst. Okay, so let me put that and the table back in the bag. I need to go pick up my other bag as well. And then I need to head back to base. What have you done with all of your um, pets? What grows deep under the sea? It sounds like the setup of one of your uh, dad jokes. I have no idea. So let's see if I can actually craft this. Um, I have no idea what that weapon does either. Put the sponges and all of this other random crap away. Put that away. And then we should be able to craft. I completely forgot the name of it. Um, I said the Sea Master Charm. Oh, yeah. So now I have water breathing apparently. And I can also walk on water if I'm holding it in my hand. Yep, it means that I can still venture out into the water quite easily when I change my origin. But seeing as now that you're now the mermaid, it means that you're gonna have to sort of carry that mantle. You're gonna have to get yourself a trident. Yeah, Ooh. I've also got my water wand, so I can have a water shield, and then I can also drown you <laughs> by making a mess in the base. <laughs> you got some torches to put back down. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that's all of the water stuff that I wanted from this, although there are some other pretty cool weapons that you can make in this mod. The frost sword looks pretty cool. Um, ice. I need ice for one of them. Let me see it. Throw it on the floor. I want to see if it's got any, uh, oh wow, okay. Uh, unique effect, right to a standard, chance to hit, oh, to regenerate health. Summons a righteous battle standard that ignites, damages and slows enemies while it's periodically granting strength and health to friendly players within its vicinity. Oh, sorry, apparently you're not friendly. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It is really cool. I didn't realise it done that though. Yeah. It's entirely my bad. <laughs> I thought you would have been considered friendly. Have I not got you? It's like, yeah, you are like part of the team. Oh, uh, maybe it's because I was looking towards your direction when I right clicked. I just wanted to see where it done. It just, I, well, I wasn't looking directly at you, I was just looking near you. But because it wasn't targeting an enemy, it just targeted the closest person nearby. Um, before I forget, because I have no idea where you spawn, I'm going to go set my spawn point first. 
and then I'll drop you your sword. <laughs> My bad. This bone cradle thing. No idea what it does. I think it's just like a hammer. Why have I got a spectrum thing on me as well? Uh, the villager just got mending. Um, there should be a bunch of mending books down there. Yeah, in this barrel just down below. Just in the floor. <laughs> you looked very confused then. <laughs> no, they're barrels. Uh, I was uh, buying all the stuff to unlock their trades. So I just put barrels down there. in there. I don't know why I've got your anvil. And then let's see if we can't craft the frost sword. Oh. Apparently I can throw light snow things. That gives slowness. Pretty cool, actually. Um, plus one cold damage. Um, plus one luck. Minus 12% on the attack damage because it's uncommon. It's not a bad one. I'll probably go and enchant it and see what it looks like. Although I was hoping it was going to be like one of the massive ones, but yeah. It is not. Um, I still think my Shadow String one is my favourite one, which I've yet to enchant or use. <laughs> uh. I hate you with slowness as well. go super slow. <laughs> nice. Are you ready? <laughs> I won't be so sure. Uh, have I got my wither backpack on? Yeah, I have. Okay. And of course it's an ultra whip up because well why wouldn't it be? That did not make him happy. Where is he gone? Any ideas? Just jump up into a cave. Yeah, he's up here. I think he literally just teleported up here. Gone. 
Is he just teleporting higher and higher? Just had a point. Okay, let's go. Whenever you hit him, he just teleports like an Enderman. I think he's got the ability of an Enderman, so you can't fire projectiles at him. damage by hitting him but my god does he do a lot of damage. And he heals really quickly. Ooh. Yeah I'm not too sure how we're meant to fight this guy. Um I know, like, we need to get him stuck in like a like a much smaller section of the cave. So if we can't even reach him. Yeah, bring him up there. As long as we don't try to shoot him, he shouldn't actually teleport. But we can force him to teleport if we want. God, my pockets are so cold. Eldritch zombie as well. He's the one who keeps on setting us on fire.
and he heals because so quick as well. I tried to lure him away from um, your thing. At the moment, he's just fighting zombies. So I think it's safe to say the uh, wither fight didn't go exactly according to plan, did it? Um, we almost had him. <laughs> In fact, we got him down like maybe a 15th of his health before he completely regenerated, killed you, and then I had to bail. But yeah, nevertheless, it was close enough. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think we're going to have to sort of create a witherproof cage in order to keep him contained. The fact that he had the ability of the Enderman, where he would teleport whenever you fired a projectile at it. So you couldn't do damage. Usually you'd get the wither down to half health by the projectiles alone before you have to use melee. But having to use melee throughout the entire thing when he's flying constantly above you, I don't I don't understand how that's going to be possible. Um, yeah. But nevertheless, uh, do you want to see what origin I get? See what we randomly roll it on. Um, let's get the origin orb. And let's go with random. I don't think I shrunk or anything, which is good. What uh, class do I want to be this time around? Um, warrior, butcher, wandering trader. Baker, uh, Explorer, Merchant, Cleric, um, Cook, I'm assuming you're the Cook, uh, yeah you're a Cook, I'm not surprised by that. I may go with Miner considering um, that's mainly what I end up doing is just getting resources. Uh, we'll go with Not Cursed. Okay so. We are. This one sucks. <laughs> uh, it's the um, Iron Golem. Automadons made out of iron swarms protect the villagers. Iron body, you get 1.5 times the normal amount of health, which means I've got over halfway yellow hearts, which is good. Uh, but normal sources of healing won't work. Instead, you have to repair yourself with iron. Uh, automaton, because you are a robot, you do not need to eat. Well, that's okay then. Toss, use an empty hand to toss enemies in front of you into the air. Can be toggled with the primary. Sturdy legs, due to your... Thank you. Due to your sturdy legs, you only take full damage after 9 blocks and take reduced full damage. Uh, the way your hands are formed provide no way of holding a shield. I've not been able to hold a shield for like the last 3 origins. Uh, due to being made out of metal, you are too heavy to swim and will sink in water. <sighs> Which is just great. <laughs> uh, can I like toss you up in the air then? If I get an empty hand. How can I toss you into the air? Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I don't know how to toss you into the air. All right then, guys. So, um, yeah, we are now an Iron Golem, which means we are going to be losing our mermaid armor, and we're going to be looking at armor that is better suited for the um, Iron Golem class, uh, which is unfortunate because it means that we're not really going to be able to venture out in the water anymore. 
because uh, we just sink to the bottom of the ocean. So although we can breathe permanently underwater, which is a good thing if we do end up ending like walking around in water, it does mean. Do you mind? It does mean. Look, go. Uh, can we like hit him? Ow. Okay, that hurt. Yeah. Um. What it means though is that we're probably going to be venturing more into the automation of things because I like, in Gollum we can venture into like more machinery rather than mystical long water ocean based stuff um, we are going to venture a lot more into the whole automation probably create and the other industrial tech mods so nevertheless hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode and hopefully I'll catch you all in the next one where we take our first ventures into being an iron golem so hopefully you've enjoyed today and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one bye bye go on wave Babe, yay. <laughs> Bye.